Hey, what's going on guys? Spirit of Halloween here, and today I'm going to do a review on the animated Eaten Alive from Spirit Halloween 2011. So, a couple things I just want to say before I get into this review is, um, the three animatronics I have selected in this video's description is the Lurching Zombie, the, the Grave Digger, and the, uh, Harvester, and the Grave Mourner. This video I'm doing four, because I feel like adding in grave diggers but um so the animatronic you guys want to see the most or see me review the most uh leave the name of the animatronic in the comment section and the one you guys want the most will be the one that will be reviewed next also the way i'm filming videos now is going to be i do a review on either wednesday or saturday well wednesday and saturday and then a, the following day i'm going to review or release the demo and the setup if there is one for the animatronic um, so that's how videos are going to be going. And also thank you so much to whatever his name was, I forget, I'll put his link in the description, um, for, uh, recommending that I review this prop. So now that I've talked for one minute without giving you guys really any info, let's go ahead and get into the review. So this is the Eaten Alive from, uh, Spirit Halloween 2011. Um, I got this animatronic in 2015. Uh, at the spirit store for about a hundred and eleven dollars I think um, I basically when I went in uh, my dad was working there this year um, he asked me this he said that they had eaten alive he's like they have eaten alive you want it and I'm like sure and he's like alright he said um, we'll come in tomorrow and well the first day they open we'll buy it so I ended up doing that and they had a lot of really cool stuff they had the pop-up zombie um, the recalled version, the 2013 version, and they also had the RC crawling zombie and a bunch of other guys, but they had this one and I went ahead and bought it and it came with the box, the original box, the original instruction piece, an adapter, and of course the Eaten Alive in really good condition, fully working. Um, so the functionality of this animatronic is actually really good. Uh, there's a lot of great movements in this animatronic and um, it is really, I'd say semi-lifelike, because really, you're never going to see a person with a rat in his chest or stomach, or lower torso in this case, um, but it is pretty realistic, and it is actually pretty life-size. The arms, actually the whole body is very lifelike, um, or life-size rather, to a real person, and the head is fairly life-size, which is really nice. Um, and that adds to the creepiness and the more realism to scare kids and everybody else. The rat is a little cartoony, kind of big. Um, he, I've never seen a rat this big, but I guess there probably could be rats this big. So, hey, you know, why not? Um, and the tail and everything is pretty good. Um, so a lot of people... Uh, I see, I, I've never really seen an amateur, or an Eaten Alive, actually, you know, I'm sorry, the quality. The quality on this animatronic is really good. Um, the whole body is made out of a very thick, like, latex that I just can't really see ever ripping unless you're not careful with it, but chances are if you're spending your money on this, you're going to be careful with it, so there's no worry about that. Um, the only places where it is a little thin is right here where the rib cage is and also where some of the flesh is underneath the, um, chest portion. Um, but yet again, just be careful with it and don't store it outside forever and don't keep it in the sunlight. Um, otherwise it could wear out and start tearing and ripping really easy. That happens with latex, but, um, so yeah. Um, and it's the same on the other side. And the, the, um... The rat feet and the tail is the same, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, the only place where it is a little torn is right here, but it's really just a little tear, and that's really where the rat's connected. And most of the time he's sitting like this, and there's not a whole lot of pressure on that specific spot. Um, so it's not, it's not too bad. Um, but it's pretty good, I would say. Uh, the detail is really good. There is a whole lot of detail in this animatronic. It's pretty gruesome, too, if you think about it. Um, the head, he's kind of, has a lot of great detail in it. The eyes, um, are pretty good. I hope you guys can see those. There we are. They are painted. Um, the mouth is pretty good. It's 
nice face detail is really good. The head is also, it, the skull is exposed, so that's pretty cool. Um, the arms look a little cartoonish, but they are sort of realistic to how a human arm, if it was torn up, would look like. But a little bit on the cartoony kind of side, but you get the idea. And it's the same for this arm. Um, the torso obviously is cut in half, got no legs, and his rib cage is exposed. <clears throat> and I need a drink of water because my throat's getting a little dry. But um, <laughs> so looks pretty good. The rat looks pretty good too. The rat is a fabric rat, um, and it's really cool how they did it. There, you can see the seam line where they sewed the rat. But it's not too noticeable, and in the dark, you're not going to notice the thing. You're going to be like, oh, whatever. But, um, there's lots of... I like how they added certain spots. There's, like, darker black fabric than the rest. It makes it look more like a rat rather than just something that's there. Um, there's also lots of good blood splotches all over the rat and everything. Even the feet and even the tail is really good. And the feet and the tail are both, like, ticks on the rat. And it's pretty good. All right, so I believe I've covered everything with this guy. There really isn't much. Um, you know, I have seen people on YouTube say, oh, well, I, you know, I just don't trust how the quality is of the motors or anything. Um, I can say this right now. I have not seen one eaten alive not move his mouth or not have the head tilt up or not have the rat tail move. I have seen a couple where the sound didn't work, but that's one or two videos, and I think it's by the same YouTuber, so I think it's just one I've seen. So... You know, if you guys do it, get this animatronic. Don't worry about it breaking. I wouldn't use it very frequently because it is an old animatronic. But um, you don't have to worry about it too much. Just be considerate, I guess, or, you know, err on the side of caution that it is an older animatronic and take care of it. You all know that. I don't have to say that a um, bunch of times. So would I recommend this animatronic? I would say heck yeah. I think, it was a, I think it's a great animatronic. I think... Um, and especially for now, and you can still get these on eBay, um, I believe you can find these of upwards from 100 to about $200. Uh, if you found one on eBay and it came with the box and the instructions and the Eaten Alive guy, I would probably say 150 is a good deal for this guy. And if he fully works and everything works and there's no problem or anything. Um, if he just came with the Eaten Alive guy and no original box or any instructions, um, I'd say probably 100 bucks if it's fully working. And, of course, you guys can be the judges for um, how much you want to pay if you see one on there that's a little lackluster for, for a condition. But if you find one in good condition, around those prices is good. Uh, my rating, I would give it five tombstones. As I just mentioned, everything's good. I'm not going to go through it again because it's going to take up more time in this video, and I'm already at eight minutes. So, um, you know, five stars. Or five tombstones. Um eBay would be a good place to buy this animatronic um, or some other online website, maybe even the Spirit Store if you saw one, um, all those kinds of places. If you can't see one, in this, if you don't see one in the Spirit Store, then eBay is a great place to go check. If you guys do want to buy this animatronic, there'll be a few links in the description below to buy this animatronic and there'll just be a few eBay ads. I'll try to go through eBay and, and put up the and, and find the best ones so you guys can um, so you guys can have some opportunities to get animatronics. But if you miss out on one, don't worry. These guys pop up all the time. No worries. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. And, um, yet again, thanks to that YouTuber for recommending I do this prop review. Um, I'll put his name in the description and all that. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good afternoon or a good day or a good night or whatever. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.